Hello everyone and welcome back to another vlog. So today we are going to run a few errands. We're going to go to the mall and then we're going to go to chapters and pick out a few books so that me and John both have books to read throughout the year because we haven't done like a shop for that yet. We were just reading the books that we already had and then we just have a few things we got to do at the mall. So we're going to do that and we're going to bring you guys with us. Fiction bestsellers, The Knife, or Knife, the internet. Oh wow, it's so cute. What are you looking at? I'm reading a book about a serial murderer and a rapist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Thanks, uh, I <clears throat> love that. I kind of want this, it's only $8. I want to see if there's like some self-help ones. Do you see any? No, we're in science fiction right now. Something she's not telling us. This book is huge. Okay, how to be mindful, how to be confident, how to be happy. These are cool. Let your stresses float away. I actually can't. Yeah, this is cute. Okay, that's the mindfulness one. How to be happy. Exercise your way to happiness. Treatments and therapies for a happier you. I think this is a how cute little. Ball? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, fuck it, it's only seven dollars. Yeah, that's important. It's gotta, it's gotta stick by it really hard though. The mindfulness ones I find can get like a little cheesy and boring. Well, that's why I didn't grab the other one. I'm surprised at how many books are so cheap because books are so expensive. Like, should I be worried? Three for ten dollars? Like, are they not good? <laughs> they probably just have uh, overstock. If I don't want to make space for new things. Uh, this is a bit of cult. Not really my kind of style. The girl who lied. Roisin, but spelled like how it's actually Properly. spelled. That's how you actually spell Roisin. Roisin. When Roisin suddenly disappears, suspicion soon lands on Aaron. I almost kind of want to buy it just because it has Roisin's name. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be weird reading it and it being spelled like Roisin though. Yeah, Raisin. Roisin brand. Are there any books that you're interested in here though? You know I can't read. One lost, one lies, <laughs> sister, sister. There is books. I would like a book. Let's go find a book for John. Mm. All right. Ah, there we go. Here's a book I can read. Only 12 pages. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, you got can a bunch of there? books. Ooh. Now this is a book I can stand behind. I'll happily be your test subject. Look at all these tools though. I have all these tools in the bar. Maybe we should learn how to make better cocktails. Maybe Look at this. Can. Modern mm -hmm. medicinal cocktails. Now that's what I'm talking about. 50 cocktails by T. Payne. <laughs> can I mix you a drink? I'm gonna buy you a drink. Right. The Good Girl's Guide to Murder. What the heck? These are all trending on TikTok. I don't recognize any of these books. The replacement way. Oh, somebody wrote a book about me. <laughs> I thought, like, oh, look. This is the, uh, it's where you just pick a book, but you don't know what, like, you have to open it, you know? Oh, you so they wrap a book up, you don't know what it is. Thriller, mystery. That's your kind of stuff. Mm. Unputdownable. That sounds good. Get down. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. Okay, one more. One more. We're here for two books. The Secret to the Unlocking secret? the Stress Cycle Burnout. We should get one of these little reading things for our beds. I've always wanted one. Not that I, I'm a big reader. Not yet, at least. Maybe it's because I don't have a pillow. How am I expected to don't read? have a reading pillow. Reading pillow. A reading pillow. The Business Journal, the Budget Journal, the Wellness. Ooh, Productivity. these are fun. Let's get one for each one. No, John. I would love this. Okay, I don't want a wellness, but I want business, budget, and productivity. Who's, what am I building? What is the promise I'm making to myself? What's my target audience? What are my objective strategies? What is the action plan to achieve these goals? All right, vlog. So my goal today was to find some self-help stuff, and I think this is exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> wait. I mean, I should get a wellness journal, too, let's be honest. Mm, wait, let's slow down. There's the five-minute journal. Let's see what this one is. Here, why don't you hold the camera? I want to look at these. Productivity Self help journal. is over there. Sweet. Sorry. Let's take a walk. <laughs> Look at this. The big woven wade blanket. Yeah, it's probably like four hundred dollars. Well, it's sweet. Oh, it's three hundred dollars. I think you would like this. Get a wade sleep mask. Oh, yeah. It's forty dollars. It would be like a nice thing to get me in the future, along with. With that, do you like this color the best? Let me go productivity. Business is. I'm gonna get this one. See, my trick with budget was if you, I couldn't afford something, it wasn't like how to budget to afford it. It was just like, find a way to make more money. So then you can get everything, but that's probably not the right way to go. 
How much are they? Thing, I like this part. Things I'm saving $24. for. $24. So like, like little goal sheets. But you need to have a surplus to be able to save money first. Yeah. That's why the budget's important. All right, I'll get all three of them. <laughs> See, this is why I need a budget book. Because I make <laughs> impulsive purchases. You're about to spend $100 on <laughs> budget There's book. There's the first thing going in the book. <laughs> I really want to get like a five minute journal, but yeah, like I want you to get a five minute journal here. Five How minute to journal. balance your life. Everyday tips for simpler living. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't last long. No. Okay. How to be sad. Well, you've got this one down. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> the five minute journal. Isn't that what you just said? Yeah, the five minute journal, but I don't know if I like this one. I am grateful for it. What would make today great? Daily affirmation. Well, remember, remember the one I got you? Yeah. This one's called the Clear Habit Journal. It's really interesting. <laughs> it's like unboxing a book. Is it, is it cool and interesting? No, <laughs> it's a notebook. Oh, well, it's a journal. It's like a blank journal. It's pretty though. I like the little triangles. Very Legend of Zelda. It's like really like fancy for a habit journal. <laughs> See, the journal I got you is like a it's a burn after reading journal. Yeah, the need to be heard. Like this is like the kind of five minute journal I'm looking for. Yeah. So this is the resilience journal. And then there's the escape journal. Take a walk and seek out beauty in the unexpected. This is kind of cute. This would be like a cute one to have while we travel. Yeah. This is cool. Okay, let's look at the balance. Think of a time when you felt less capable than you might have liked. This is like, um, it's like therapy on your own, you know? Yeah, self-therapy, which I think is a good thing. I like the Thrive one and the resilience one. If you find yourself being angry or resentful towards another person, ask yourself if the need to be liked is holding you back from saying no to their request. I guess you'll have to buy it for me. Okay. Okay, I'm getting I'm getting this one. It's forty eight dollars. Oh my god. Half our books we got are journals. <laughs> if we're not champions by the end of all this self help, <laughs> then it's all a hoax. <laughs> This is the book you got me. Turn after. Yeah, that is true. Well, this is why it's really easy to <laughs> spend so much money at chapters. Ooh. There's a book that I really want. I just don't know where it is. If you guys have any book recommendations, definitely throw it in the comments. For inspiring leaders. The CEO bookshelf over here. Oh, CEO bookshelf. For the CEO that I am. The advertising concept. This is good stuff. 100 side hustles without quitting your day job. Yeah, that sounds fun. Actually, I would love to have that book. Take a little peek. It's, a, it's, oh, look at this one. This is the one I was looking for, for you. The end of procrastination. Maybe there's some help in there. It's called I need to take my meds. I knew you were gonna say that. See, they need to slap on a big ADHD on top of that cover and then well, you probably buy it. I wanted it. to find one that was like women with ADHD. All right, what do you think? Look at, look at these, look at these piles. <laughs> Did we do okay? <gasps> oh no. Oh no. And I didn't even like. I didn't even get what we came here for. No, I didn't. <laughs> I had all these books in mind and I didn't find any of them. I just found so many different stuff. What are you most excited for? I'm excited to open this one to see what it is. Yeah, that's going to be pretty fun. Um, the mindfulness book and learning about the mind. And this one is cool. This one's like about like toxic friendship. Ooh. And then of course my journal. Fun. I'm most excited for my life lessons without the bullshit. And I think, I think some of these will be good for you too. Oops. Are you going to be able to actually read any of these? Yeah. John okay, is she's, unable she to says I can't read. I can, I can read. He's being a little over dramatic. She, he can't focus for longer than I can't 20 focus. seconds. I have really bad ADD of some kind. Oh, this is like, look, you know, social yeah, media. Other pictures, is it going to help retain your attention? <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm over this. We're done here. We're done it's here. It's true, isn't it? <laughs> yes, I need pictures sometimes, okay? I need double simulation. No touch tool. Hey guys, thanks for coming back to Sabrina's channel. Today we're talking about our little book haul because we went to Chapters yesterday, slash Indigo. We also went to Winners, so I'm gonna start with that before we start the chapter stuff. And the most important thing that I got there, and the only important thing, is this. A whole bunch of puzzles. It's four kitty cups. And they're cats. They're all a thousand pieces, and there's four of them, and it was only $20, so. We love cats. Pumped about this purchase, okay. Anyway, John's going to go through his books first because he got less than I did, and. I can't read very well. <laughs> And one of my books is, it's like when you get it and it's wrapped up and it just has like a little description of it and you don't know what it is until you open it. All right, guys. So I got, first of all, I got these three journals. All right. You know, it's a little work on yourself on bettering yourself, um, you know, doing more with the time that we have in, in a day to day basis. So I'll run through this really quickly. The first journal is a productivity journal. I don't know if you can see that. 
And basically the productivity journal is just scheduling your day out, you know, holding yourself accountable, um, talking about like your goals for the week, what you're trying to achieve, making the to-do list that are there, setting priorities to things, all kinds of little things like that, setting due dates and making sure that you're on track with what you're trying to achieve. Now, uh, if you guys don't know this, I own my own business. So the next journal I got is my business journal. This is great for any person who's an entrepreneur, um, especially who's a, who has a startup or is starting out in business because it does talk about like your visions at first, talking about your plans, your startups and what your goals are for your business. And then throughout the book is like little accountability checks where you're talking about what your goals are for the day, what's the next projects you're working on in your business, what your objectives are and the strategy you're going to use to get them and all those types of action plans and stuff like that. So I uh, hope I'm going to use this and hopefully it'll help me, you know, keep track on where my business goals are and growing my also, overall company. It also has like, you can do a bunch of different business goals. Like it's, it's the same thing on repeat. Yeah. It's yeah. like making plans for multiple like business ideas. Exactly. Exactly. And then last but not least in the journal section, I have one that I really need called the budget journal because I'm an impulsive spender and I spend all of my money on dumb things all the time. So uh, if I had something like this, you know, back way back when I started my business eight years ago, I'd probably be 10 times further than I am now. Uh, but that being said, I'm going to start using this to kind of keep track of my overall expenses, income, you know, lowering where my expenses are and being less wasteful with my money. And that way I can put it towards more important things like investments and real estate and you know, more and long term things. For a house. Exactly. Exactly. And a boat <laughs> and a boat and more RVs and more cars and all these depreciating assets, <laughs> which is what I've done so far. So I'm going to use that budget journal to keep track of my expenses and do better with my money. And then the last book I got is actually 101 life lessons without the bullshit examples on the back here, things like social media is not your therapist. So I think that's great. And I think it'd be great for not just me, but for Sabrina here as well. So those are my books. But now we get to talk about Sabrina's books. I got a lot more books than he did. So we're going to start Actually, just talk about. The plan was to buy one like self-help kind of book and one like novel and I ended up getting eight books and he got four so we got 12 in total. So this is her first book. It's actually pretty exciting because we don't know what it is. It just says it's a thriller and it's a mystery and it's wrapped up so it's kind of like a surprise mystery book. We're gonna do this one last so stay tuned to find out what this is. Basically genre is thriller mystery and the first line says I hear the crack of his skull before the spattering of blood reaches me. Ooh, I know, this one's gonna be a good one. You don't wanna miss this. So we, the first place that we went to to pick out our books was the sales rack. So um, every chapter that Indigo has this and it, they're just regular books, but they're all like five to eight dollars. So I got this one, which is called The Girl Who Lied. And I picked this one because the main character's name is Roisin, but also because it is about like, um, it's a mystery. You know, this Roisin girl goes missing and we're gonna find out why. And I love like thriller type books. So that's the first one. And and then I got this how to be mindful one, which is super cute and purple. This is just like a regular like self help book. Like you just like read it. So it's not like a journal or anything like John got, but I'm excited for this one. I want to read that one too. Once I learn how. And this one is called the secrets of mind power, the secret of success and other essential work. And this one was only $8. So this one's huge. I'm a big mindset type of guy, you know, that is directly reflected on my success. Any times I've done bad is with a mindset anytime I've done well as with a good mindset I believe in the laws of attraction yeah this is this is a hefty read probably but very interesting mm -hmm. the mind is an interesting thing and this is the last one that I got on sale it's a murder story <laughs> okay, so this book is about a alcoholic investigator who wakes up and after a night of being blacked out and apparently it's a bad nightmare so my guess is that he's the murderer that's my theory anyways. This is The Girls Are All So Nice Here and it is by Lauren Flynn and it is about a toxic friendship. Dive into toxic friendship, deep insecurity, betrayal and revenge. It's a breathless and unforgettable read. That's just one of the back reviews. So I'm actually really excited about this one. This one I'm most excited about. On to the journal. So I got the Resilience Journal, which is kind of like the mindfulness book, but it's actually like a journal. So it does like have like reading 
heating aspects to it. And then it also has certain prompts. So it's like a mixture of a self-help book and a journal. And then this was the most expensive thing that I got. This is the Human Being Journal. This one was $50, but this one is super cool. I'll read the inside card. I'll read part of the inside card. So it says, we believe mindfulness is a superpower that can transform lives. We should know we witnessed these changes firsthand in our own lives as busy professionals, juggling work, family, friends, wellness, and more. Our shared belief in the power of mindfulness inspired us to create the Human Being Journal, a thoughtful guide to manifesting your dream life through practice of intentional journaling. I'm gonna show you the layout. So the first page is my current state of mind and it has a few prompts for you to fill things out. It has your bucket list and this is your bucket list for your whole life, not just like this is a one year journal, but this is your bucket list for your whole life. It moves on to your monthly plan, which includes your vision board, your action plan, which again, <laughs> <laughs> which again has your prompts for your action plan it numbers your goals so each goal you have you have like an action plan and then at the end of the month you do like a little review and it like has different prompts so it's your action plan check-in what's on your mind so then this is more like mindfulness stuff about your action plan that like it just relates this page is called stay accountable my pending to-do list i think these books will go great together because this is like learning about the mind power and mindset and then this is applying it and holding yourself accountable and actually trying to follow through it and practicing the theories and, and making them become reality so i think it's going to be a great addition to your new collection this is the last one this is one that i have no idea what it is i just bought it it was 23 dollars, so i really hope that is good so the genre is thriller and mystery and it actually has a trigger warning that says read with care the very first line of the book is i hear the crack of his skull before the spattering of blood reaches me it gives a little description which says this romance writer sure knows how to write a thriller so apparently it's romance um unput downable our staff just can't stop talking about this one so i'm gonna open it up wait right here. what if you've already read it there's a chance but there's so many books i probably haven't if you've watched my goals video you know that i haven't been reading for a few years so i'm playing she, catch up if she's already read it we give one subscriber a thousand dollars here we go drum upset. roll oh my god I'm gonna be real upset if i have it well, <laughs> yeah. well, hopefully you it have it. It doesn't look like I have it. Oh, it feels like Christmas. Charity by Colleen Hoover. Actually, my sister told me about this author. She said that she's heard really, really great things, but I've actually never heard of her until she, my sister mentioned it the other day. I'm glad cool. that this is the one that I got That's then. Right. Okay, so when he's trying to finish the book of his... Uh, wife writing the book of his wife she, he finds an autobiography he's just not supposed to know what's in this biography Ooh. after all no matter how devoted jeremy is to his injured wife a truth this horrifying would make it impossible for him to continue loving her hmm. i don't know which one i'm gonna read first yeah this is gonna take us a long time Ooh, we will do some reviews on these books of course to keep you updated book reviews well i hope you guys enjoyed our video here with our walkthrough and chapters in indigo and our little book haul with all these fun reads we're gonna have again send us a comment down below what you think and what your feedback is and if you like to read what books you recommend and we're hopefully gonna see you guys in our next video unfortunately there's no thousand dollar to give away because she has not read this book <laughs> all right thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys in my next video bye